Hi, and welcome to my five minute TED Talk. My name is Laurie Capen, and I am a graduate of the great class of 89 from the United States Naval Academy. Um, I am so proud of your scout leader. She is brilliant and beautiful and smart, and you're so lucky you get to do the things that you do. And I hope you realize how awesome it is. But at the same time, I wanted to talk to you briefly about what it means to be a groundbreaker. And when um, Catherine first asked me to do this, I said, well, I'm not really a groundbreaker. In fact, when I went to the Naval Academy, I was super uncomfortable with that term and super uncomfortable with that idea. And people were worried about being the first this and the first that. And, and I really just wanted to graduate and do the best job that I could. And um, ironically, I did end up being the first woman to graduate with a double major. And I am currently getting my PhD in mathematics education leadership at George Mason. But along the way, I just learned a lot of things, and that is own your journey, okay? Sometimes when we're young, we're trying so hard to fit in that we miss some of the best parts of being ourselves. All of you are outrageously gifted and talented at something, and we don't always find it at 8, 10, 12, 14, even 20 years old. I'm getting my PhD in mathematics education I decided I was really good at mathematics when I was 26 years old. And I had an experience where I just automatically knew how to do something that really, really smart physics and engineers didn't know how to do. And then I was like, wow, maybe I am really good at math and not just good at math for a girl. And so the thing is the only limitations are those that you put on yourself. And it's wonderful when we have role models that can show us what we want along the way, your scout leader being one of them. But um, just realize that your journey and your path may look a little different, and that's okay. Um, things that I wish someone had told me, I wish someone had told me back then that everything was going to be okay and that I was good enough. And I think that's one of the most important things I would tell you is to realize you are good enough. You are good enough now. And you, I would want to see all of you pursue your dreams to as far as your talent and work ethic will take you. And work ethic trumps talent every day of the week. Um, the sooner, the other thing I wish someone told me was the sooner that I didn't worry about what other people thought, the happier I would be. And that's very true. Um, and like I said, um, and really, I think I, one of the things that was really a part of me as a young child is I really pursued excellence in everything. I really, truly tried my best at everything I did. But realize um, you got to be humble too. And the flip side of that is I realize that everyone that I encounter every day is smarter at me at something and has something that they can teach me. I have spent the bulk of my career as an educator and it was a big lesson to me to realize Everyone has something that they can teach me. This is why plumbers will eventually rule the earth um, in our techno technological society. In any case, I just want to encourage you all to be the best version of yourselves. I always hated as a kid when people would say, be yourself, be yourself, be yourself, because I was like, I don't even know what that means. But what I figured out is to be the best version of me that I can be and to realize that that's enough. For the things that I want to pursue. Um, I, I don't still really consider myself a groundbreaker. I think what you guys are doing in the Scouts is far more groundbreaking than anything I ever did. Um, I was really fortunate. I'm one of those people that I look at the women at the Naval Academy and I can't believe that I get to be counted among them because I think so highly of them. But then I look back at some of the things I did and I think, well, that was kind of cool, right? That was interesting. Um, just the other thing, last thing I want to say is make sure um, you always relish the moment, right? Be grateful for your past lessons. Always dream in the future, but always take a moment and have the mindfulness to be ever present and enjoy the moment and stage of life that you're in now. And in my opinion, this is the key to feeling very content and fulfilled with regardless where you are in your life. 
Again, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I'm moving today to Falls Church. But I, I have such a high opinion of all of you. I have such a high opinion of your leader, and I can't wait to hear more about your adventures, and I hope someday I get to meet all of you in person. Take care and have a great Navy day.